Hi guys, introduce my new product. It's an 80 volt battery power station. Uh, this is a big one. <laughs> so far, this is a big one. So uh, this is a power station. It, it can it can maximum put a 680 volt battery in. And uh, the on off switch, I'll show you the voltage. And there's uh, 10 amp outlet and uh, 20 amp outlet. So if you are permanent mount on your uh, like a RV something, you want to use a 20 uh, 20 amp outlet right here to mount on there for temporary use. Like a, like right now, if I plug something in, I can use this uh, 10 amp outlet. So compared to the Eagle one, uh -huh. uh, first of all the size, my size is much compact, much much compact compared to the Eagle one. Uh, also uh, uh, capability, my was much bigger than the Eagle one as well. So the Eagle one maximum you can put on the four batteries and here you can put on six batteries, okay. Uh, yeah, much more power. Uh, also, uh, the Eagle one, they mark like a 3000 watt. So the 3000 watt is just pink performance. So this inverter is 5000 watt in pink. So, but uh, I don't really say that because nobody count on that. The pink performance is just a couple of seconds, okay? So the Eagle one, uh, the actually one is like a 2000 watt, more likely is 1800 watt, okay, and this is 2500 watt, so uh, much more power than the Eagle one. Uh -huh. uh, I also have put a charge inside, so you can charge six battery together, uh, but the problem is uh, we just charge six battery together because I did not really really design the electric park. So I just, you know, take off the charger and put it here and link them together, you know. So if you max with the battery something new, something old, so they hard to balance six battery together, you know. So maybe report some errors. So very simple, you just uh, take off the one which fully charged and uh, it will continue to charge uh, the one need to be charged, okay? Because each battery you have indicator for for the you know power inside. So whenever if if the charger report an error, you can just take off the fully charged one, and it will continue to charge the you know the battery need to be charged. Yeah, that's the only downside. Yeah, like I said, I just put the, everything together and make them possible for you. I, I did not really design the whole electrics inside. Yeah, that's only different here. And uh, so this is a good for uh, regular house use for the emergency. I mean, whenever power out, you can use this, and you are use on the RV. So the basic inverter is under here, and uh, that's uh, you know power pump, uh, uh, the DC uh, uh, battery link. The DC terminal, and uh, this is a positive, then this is a negative. So the later on, if you go to a uh, solar system, if you build a solar system for your RV or for your home, you can use this like your uh, power bank. You can link uh, more batteries uh, from here. Uh, also, when the solar, when you put a solar, you just need a solar, the voltage regulation from the solar. And then you can charge your battery here, and also use this uh, in water to power up your, uh, you know, uh, power up your normal use. Uh, so the the, the 20, uh, 2500 watt power is pretty much. I mean, for the regular use, you can pretty much power up everything for your refrigerator, microwave, you know, fan, lights, those kind of stuff, there's no problem at all. The only problem is the heater, 
you don't want to use electric heater with those because the electric heater is kind of really waste energy you know it's pretty much an energy drinker when doesn't matter if it's a small size or a bigger size it definitely is an energy drinker so if you use this to power up the heater you probably won't stay much you know so yeah no heater no heater <laughs> so other than heater it will be fun for everything else mm -hmm. so we can just power up and show you let's, let's bring this up okay that's more clear so once you plug in and there's a little light shows on if i turn it on let's see so you can see it's turned on uh, yeah like i said if you uh, plug a heater on it's just an uh, energy drinker and uh, so i think the six battery probably can support maybe an hour on the heater <laughs> Probably not, <laughs> hard to say. But uh, yeah, without heater, and it's anything else will be fun with uh, this power station. Uh, yeah, let me take out and show you more more details. So since it's very compact design, when you um, take out, you take out the middle one first, okay? <laughs> when you put it in, you put the outside one first, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> it's not really easy to put in. So since you don't have extra room inside, so whenever I take out the battery, there's no more battery. They report the low pipe, low uh, uh, low voltage report. Uh -huh. So this inverter has a fully protection inside. So if you uh, cut off whenever the voltage lower than 65 volt, so to protect your batteries, um, and also have the uh, you know. Uh, over temperature protection, over current protection, uh, low current protection, <laughs> everything. So you can just leave it as is, you know. It has a lot of protection inside. So, uh, so basically, this is the inverter right here. And the middle part, this is a charger. It basically, just a single charger. And uh, since I linked, all terminal together so you will charge the six battery together okay not individually that's uh, that's the thing about the charger um, you can maxima maxima up any kind of brands because all 80 volt battery is all same I mean it's all same inside it's just a different brand okay it's just a different brand that's a green work that's Cobo, that's just different brand. It's all same inside, so you can charge any kind of brand. 80 volt battery together, right here. Uh, the 80 volt battery right now is pretty standard. So uh, this is a green work. That's a long time, and the combo is sold on the lows, and the Monarch has 80 volt as well. Monars, I think that is a Master 2, Master 2's 80 volt battery. I mean, just Walmart has 80 volt batteries as well. They're all same. They're all OEM from the same manufacturer, just put on different labels. So when you charge, you can maximum any kind of brand. Okay? Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about the charger. So right now I have a uh, you know full product line for your uh, 80 volt batteries. You know from the very beginning, this is a so this is a you know the 
simple grab power adapters to grab the 80 volt power and uh, also and then this is the uh, e back adapters so you can mount, mount on your e back frame uh, very easy and, and then this is a dc power station so it's come out uh, 12 volt uh, you know standard car for car dc 12 volt dc power and usb as well so uh, that's the dc power station and then this is a ac power station 2500 watt dc power station yeah it's a whole 80 volt product line so whenever you have 80 volt batteries so you definitely need my product <laughs> okay <laughs> you definitely need my product <laughs> okay so see you next time